right, well, let's go now to New York, and we'll talk with Lenny. Hey, Lenny, what have you got for us tonight? Hello, Andrew. I'm looking at um, the Gospel of John, chapter 15, starting in verse 5, where Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me, and I in him, he brings forth much fruit. And then in verse 7, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done. I'm I'm just going to ask you what is involved, what is our part, and what is involved in abiding in him? Okay, sounds good, uh, Lenny. Appreciate your call tonight. Well, you know, unfortunately, some translate this as uh, remain, and then it sounds like an effort, and then we've got the translation abide, and some people have made that into an effort. Uh, But that's not really what's going on here. It's really about location. It's about being in Christ. And I don't know about you, it seems like you abide in New York. You don't wake up every day, Lenny, and go, gosh, i got to try to abide in New York. Uh, You just live there. It's your location. So let me read that with that in mind. I'll read the passage, I am the vine, you are the branches, he who lives in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. See, that's a believer versus an unbeliever. Let me read it again. The believer comes first, and the unbeliever comes second. Whoever lives in me, okay, that's a Christian, and I live in him, then that person will bear much fruit. Okay, that's a Christian. A Christian has Christ living in them, and they are living in Christ. I in them, and them in me. So that's a believer, and then it says, because apart from me, That would be an unbeliever, because believers are never apart from him. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So look how we've twisted this thing. I mean, here Jesus is contrasting a believer with an unbeliever, and then we've turned this into some sort of work that we need to do every day. Got to try to abide, try to abide. Am Am I abiding enough? And we've made it into a synonym for trusting or dependency. But that's not how it's used in the New Testament. Abide means to live. I abide in Texas. I don't have to try to abide in Texas. I don't make an effort to abide in Texas. I just live here. Likewise, that's what abide means in John 15 and in 1 John, by the way, when it appears there as well. Throughout the New Testament, abide means live. So, Uh, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who lives in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Now verse 6, if anyone does not abide, does not live in me, what happens to him? Ouch. Thrown away, gathered, cast into a fire, burned. Ouch. Is that a Christian? No. That is a person that does not live in Jesus. If anyone does not abide in me, they're burned. So can you see how wrong we have been teaching this passage uh, to be about a Christian who better be trusting Jesus? Now, I love trusting Jesus, but that's not what this passage is about. This passage is about salvation. Either you live in Christ or you don't live in Christ. If you don't live in Christ, then you're apart from Christ and you can't bear any fruit. Zero. Zilch. And you're like a branch that is burned. But if you do live in Christ, then you do bear much fruit because why? Well, he began this work in you, carries it on to completion. He causes you to do and and and, and want of his good pleasure. So you're going to bear fruit. And then he goes on, he says, if you live in me and if my words live in you, ask whatever you wish, it'll be done for you. My father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit. So what's he talking about? Should I just ask for a Ferrari and add on in Jesus' name? Do I ask for a, you know, multi-million dollar mansion and then uh, add Jesus' name? No, he's talking about bearing fruit. I mean, the very next verse, it says, my father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit. So in other words, father, here's my prayer. I know that Jesus is in me, and I know that I'm in him, and I want to bear fruit today. 
and you know what, I've been blowing up at my boss, or I've been blowing up at my kids, or I've been reacting this way and that way and the other way, and I, I, you know, I'm so tired of it. I want you to teach me. I want you to mold me. I want you to shape me. I want you to invest in me. I'm looking to you today. You are the living Lord Jesus Christ. You reside in me for a reason. I've been given your life so that you can motivate and animate and inspire me from within. And so I'm asking today, Father, I'm asking for wisdom from you and counsel and discernment from you. And that's what he's talking about, asking in his name. So Lenny, I hope that helps. Uh, Reach out to us anytime.